Hello and welcome to Dotto Tech. We have a great show for you today. Funny thing about progress, the more things change, the more they stay the same, sort of. Take printing, for example. We've got all these paperless tools, and they're all things that theoretically mean we're going to use less paper and print less. But in fact, we're printing more than ever. Go figure. Today, we're going to show you how to use and set up the state of the art in printing. These printers we're going to play with produce amazing quality. In fact, the quality keeps improving and the costs keep dropping. And the convenience and ease of use, they're also increasing. For example, today we're going to completely get rid of cables and go wireless. That's a big benefit because the more convenient a printer is, the more useful it is. And it doesn't get any more convenient than being wireless. Our workhorses today are two offerings from HP, the PhotoSmart C6300 and the C8180, all in ones. Let's start here with the 6300. It represents a real balance of features. I kind of look at it as a kind of minivan, great for the family. Whereas the C8180, more of a luxury SUV. It's got all sorts of extras for the enthusiast. In the 6300, the heart of the system is a five ink system. Now with HP's new inks, you can get up to three times more output from each of the high capacity cartridges, which is gonna save you a lot of money. Now when we think about the design of an all-in-one, the first thing that comes to my mind here is the paper handling, because I like some things that they've done to the paper tray. For example, we have a regular normal tray for our eight and a half by 11 paper for most of our normal printing, but then on top of that is a photo tray. Tremendous convenience, because you don't have to think about loading in photo paper every time you wanna print off a picture, and we wanna print off a lot of pictures. It also has HP's AutoSense technology, meaning if you use HP's advanced photo papers, you can't put the paper in wrong and waste pages, because it won't print wrong. It's barcoded on the back, so the printer actually recognizes the barcode, sets all the settings and optimizes it, and makes sure that the paper is put in properly so you don't waste prints. Some other technical details, the scanner is a 4800 dot per inch, 48-bit scanner, and it's a flatbed scanner, meaning it's great for scanning in irregularly shaped objects like books or magazines. Now this printer is designed for computerless printing as well as being connected to your computer. So it has memory card slots allowing us to directly import all of our different photos from our uh, camera's memory cards. As well with the LCD screen and the controls, you can do most of the major editing that you need to any photos and modifying the photos in print without ever actually going to the computer if you choose that. Of course, it does network very nicely with the computer using Wi-Fi or it'll also allow us to print from Bluetooth devices like our camera phones using the Bluetooth networking. Now all of those networking features as well as many others are shared here on the C8180. Now this one does have a six ink system but it allows us to use the newer high capacity more economical ink cartridges. Now the scanner is also a little bit higher in resolution. It scans at 96 bit. Now I should point out that the, one of the reasons that you want a higher resolution in your scanner is this one has a built-in slide scanning attachment. Now when you're scanning in slides you'll appreciate the extra resolution offered by this particular scanner. Now this also has media card slots for directly importing pictures and it's an outstanding device for computerless printing. Now it's got a big touch screen here and that allows you to manage and edit your pictures and print them off without ever using your computer. Now here's where we start to see some real big differences. The C8180 also has a DVD burner built into it and the DVD burner is a very creative addition to this particular product. Now the DVD burner we can use to load pictures in for printing or to take pictures and copy and burn our own CDs or DVDs. But in today's world where a lot of us have notebooks without optical drives, this DVD burner can double as your notebook's optical drive so you can use it for loading in software or burning DVDs from your notebook once your notebook is networked with the printer. That's a really creative additional feature built into this particular device. And of course, it shares the wireless networking capabilities of the 6300. Now, I think many people are still a little bit intimidated by the whole concept of wireless. We tend to set up wireless networks at home or in the office, but primarily for our notebooks to access the internet and email. But setting up all the extras, like the servers and printers, well, we would tend to think of wireless as being too hard for those services. So we've got a great wireless network at home, but we still plug in to print and scan. Well, when we come back, I want to walk you through the setup process. It's easier than you think. Blogs, podcasts, streaming video. You can find it all on our website. Check it out at dototech.com. <laughs>